Today we're unveiling the Sacramento Biodigester, which is going to start with processing 10,000 tons per year of organic waste. The food waste goes in, what comes out is fuel and energy. This is the first time that anaerobic digestion has been used to produce vehicle fuel. Uh, to fuel of vehicles that are using CNG. We're bringing in waste from area retail stores, grocery stores, hospitals, hotels. It gets dumped into a waste separation unit that takes out the inorganic materials, any contaminants that might be in there that can't go into the digester. It's processed and it's converted to clean fuel as well as soil amendments that can be used in the area farms. This was a really great public-private partnership. This is the first time that a facility such as this has been permitted in the state of California. We took a technology that was developed at UC Davis at a bench scale and then at a pilot scale, but we wanted to create a commercial product that could be replicated from site to site. And so we created a standard design that was built on skids. All the electrical and mechanical equipment is produced in a factory that can then be shipped out to a particular project and connected to the tanks. By being the first and at this stage the largest in the country, uh, it really sets the stage for other cities to come and look and understand the huge benefits of anaerobic digestion, the huge benefits of making sure that food waste, which is the number one thing still going to landfills, doesn't go to landfill but goes to facilities like this one here. I think the opening of the Sacramento Digester is just a truly remarkable uh, achievement. This is something that we've envisioned for a long time and to see it come to fruition is very exciting. This really is the future and it's happening right here in the city of Sacramento.